All right, brothers and sisters, I think this is a very important video that we should do because we are living in a very much a time of deception. And there's something very, very odd with this RSTNE, the Restore, Restore, Restoration Scriptures 8th edition. First thing I'd like to point out is this, is that um, he moved all this stuff to Rumble, which is totally fine. But what I wanted to show you guys is that this was his um, Shabbat on, the, on Rumble which is the 27th of today. And today, this morning, uh, at 7.40 a.m., he was talking about his Shabbat scriptures. At 8.45, he sends this, this email out, and he says, Urgent, we do not have enough monthly commitments to keep the RSTNE free online. Sorry. We need a few faithful partners to do this. As we speak, we only have a handful. We need to hear from folks soon. So you have this guy, and he's shaking everybody down yet again. And it came on a Shabbat, 527.23, right? So at the very bottom of this, he has PayPal links and where people can pay and people can donate. And the donations would be going to his web hosting or to his housing or whatever it is. So he's encouraging people to pay on a Shabbat, which is breaking Shabbat, right? We are not supposed to, to buy. We're not supposed to sell. We're not supposed to do any of this stuff on a Shabbat. So this was a huge, huge issue that I saw. And so I was looking through this and I decided I better start reading some of the stuff that we actually scanned because I didn't exactly know anything about this guy. Now, this is one of the same emails he sent before. Um, and I will just kind of scan this because um, it's, it's all about money, 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 money. The righteous will hear and act because those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery, but the people who know Yahuwah shall be strong and carry out great exploits. And then he has the same thing that he had before. And he says, Shalom, friends and brethren, we are under an attack from the devil regarding our free online work just for you. We've seen that before. I've heard this before. He sent out 15 different emails of the same thing. Um, that He knew when he was going to put it online that the thieves were going to descend like locusts to devour it. Now, this is a part that I want to talk to you guys about because never before had I said this guy was Talmudic. Like he was a Kabbalist. This is where um, today I am actually going to change that tune. And this guy is definitely a Talmudic Messianic Kabbalist. I didn't even know Messianic Kabbalist existed. Now let's take a quick look at what he says right here. The devil has raised his head to immediately oppose the free distribution of the RSTNE online with thievery, lies, and that we are Talmudic Kabbalists and that we are somehow ambassadors of the rabbinical movement, which you know we strongly have what we oppose strongly and have done so for 35 years now let's go take a look at some of his books now inside of the rstne is one of these there's two two books that i read today and immediately the red flags went off and immediately i was just about to remove the rstne from our website the, the pdf that we just got up there which we are going to do because i'm not going to actually have what he has in this especially the footnotes now this book the epistles of bar nava Barnabas Barnaba. This was the guy that he claims was heading out with Paul that was in, um, that basically was out teaching with Paul. And we don't know a tremendous amount about Barnaba, but he gives a little bit of history right here. And the first thing that I had to do when I was attempting to read this is I had to figure out what a lot of these words were, which is exactly why um, we are where we are at. And one of the words in this is this thing right here, da'at. And I didn't know what this was, along with a few other things. And it started talking a lot about this. And it also started talking about um, science and da'at. And I'd never heard anything in scriptures talking about science and da'at. And this entire book of Barnava is very, very interesting. Now, when I go and I looked up da'at, this is what it is. In the branch of Jewish mysticism known as the Kabbalah, da'at or da'ath is the location where all ten uh, seferit in the tree of life are united as one. Guys, this is where the red flags goes. This is mixing of religions. This is straight up Judaism right at your doorsteps. And I guess nobody figures it out. This guy is traipsing around in, as messianic, but he is also packing around with him extremely bad Talmudic stuff. This book of Barnabas, with talking about this stuff, should not be included in this in the scriptures at all. 
Now, when we're looking at what this is, this is a, it's a branch of Jewish mysticism known as Kabbalah. Da'at or Da'at. Is, uh, it's Romanized and it's in the location, the mystical state, where all ten Seiferet in the Tree of Life are united as one. In Da'at, all Seiferet exists in the perfected state of infinite sharing. The three Seiferet, I don't even know how to say that word, Seiferet, of the left column that would receive and conceal the divine light, instead share and reveal it. Since all Seiferet radiate infinitely, give self-giving divine light, it is no longer possible to distinguish one Seifra from another. Thus they are. Guys, this is Jewish mysticism. This is what they call black magic. And this is all over in this book. And when you're looking at this stuff, this is what I didn't know this guy was actually involved in. I had an idea, and I talked to you guys about it, because when I was looking at his footnotes that we actually wrapped up with his scriptures, we it was it was obvious that this guy was definitely into, he kept re talking about, oh, in the Talmud it says this, in Talmud it says this. Guys, we should not be in the Talmud. That is that is taking and violating Deuteronomy 4 too. So this guy is a messianic Talmudic Kabbalist, which is something, again, I didn't even know existed. And there's other books in this. Like the other book that um, I was reading is, um, let's see, where is it here? His other book that we were reading was right in here. We'll go through this. Sorry, guys. His site, he needs more money to get a site a little faster or something. So this, these books are his extracurricular things that he are put, he's putting in this, and they should absolutely not be in these books at all. Now, one of the books that I read, the other book was, um, where is this? Diadochi, right here. The Teachings of the Twelve. And that's where the red flags just started coming off. And it starts talking the same stuff. Inside of this, we have Jewish mysticism. We have all of this Kabbalah stuff. And guys, we are told in scriptures not to mix religions. And so this guy has literally exposed himself. And I haven't read the rest of his stuff. I haven't read all of these other books. But if it talks about things um, such as this, Jewish mysticism and the occult, for those who have studied anything into the occult, this is the stuff you're looking at, right? The new age stuff, all of the, the you know, the, uh, the chakras and the pineal glands and all of the third eye stuff, all of the stuff that people are trying to open and try to explore. This is the stuff within this Kabbalah that when you start studying this, it is black magic. And you can see right here, it has like um, Uranus, Pluto, Neptune, Saturn, Mars, Mercury, um, and when you look up the definition of da'at, it he has it in his little glossary as just knowledge, right? It's just, oh, it's just knowledge. That's all you want to do is, is just have some knowledge on this. But when you go into these books of like Barnaba and it talks about things about science and it talks about da'at, like right here, while these therefore remain pure in things relating to Yahuwah, Chakma and Bina, science and Da'at, rejoice together with them. Science and Da'at. Guys, this is the mixing of religions. This is why you guys need to run away from the RSTNE very much. And so what I'm going to be doing and what we're going to do as a family is we're going to definitely take the RSTNE offline. So he can win this one and the devil can take this offline because I do not think this is a good book for anybody. I believe it is very, very bad. So what we'll be doing is we will be taking it offline very soon and um, we're going to rewrap this. We're going to rewrap this up with just all of the scriptures minus all of the stuff. I got to read through this and find out how much Talmudic um, mumbo jumbo he has in this. And then we're going to rewrap that PDF up, which will be much better. And we're also going to remove the footnotes. The footnotes and all of these things are not good, right? You have somebody who is very well educated in Talmud. He came from Jewish origins. He is essentially a Jew. He's a Messianic Talmudic Kabbalist Jew. 
And you guys need to be very, very aware. These are the people that you should stay away from. These are the books that you should not be reading. So guys, I just want to put this out there because I don't want to lead anyone astray. And for anybody, it looks like there's a lot of people that did download this. This is the warning for those who downloaded it that it is full of Kabbalistic mumbo jumbo. And so we will get that fixed and get that updated. We will put out a new version of this that is without all of his mumbo jumbo. So um, I know he has an eighth version right now. So our version will be his ninth version, which is going to be a cling version of it, which will have all of about 85, 90 books. And it doesn't need to have all of this stuff about science and the, the occult. We, we don't want that. That's not part of our doctrine. That violates Deuteronomy 4.2. So guys, I hope this uh, opens your eyes to something and um, you guys know and you're not led astray. Much love. I'm out.